So the first thing I want to start with is, what were the specific challenges you face as somebody coming into a story that's already got six seasons and a movie behind it? I think making it fresh, uh, but I was greatly helped because the script was so rich and, and diverse and the new storylines taking the Crawley family to the south of France and the film within a film mm. offered new energy and new visuals that helped. Uh, coming into the fold, did you have any ideas specifically for the characters and um, what sort of stories you'd like to tell? Well, I was very, I mean, this began with me reading the script, which I really liked. Mm. And uh, so my energy was focused on making the script uh, as good as possible. Um, and having spent so long in their roles, the cast must have strong ideas of who they are as characters, what they would do, wouldn't do. Um, is that a challenge as well? I would say the opposite. It's a luxury. Yeah. Because, you know, often as a director, you're trying to marry an actor to a part, often with no rehearsal at all. And in this case, these actors had these characters so deep in their DNA, they merged uh, uh, character and actor into one yeah. very rich thing. And uh, that was, that was uh, exciting to work with, actually. On top of that, there must also be a, a sort of rule book as thick as my arm um, for things that you... Not just the story things and the characters, but the historical accuracy yes, and things like that. Uh, that's something I'm less interested in than <laughs> yes. other people. Uh, but again, the storylines in this film, the new energy of a film crew turning up who don't care about whether it's the right fork or yeah. the right wine glass, uh, and uh, going to France where everything is done differently, were very liberating. Mm. Um, what would you say you're most proud of in terms of putting your stamp on a new era? Uh, I, I hope uh, that it's as emotional as the story could possibly be and as funny as the story could possibly be. Yes, it, it's funny. My three favourite moments in the film are either based around humour, so the hat shop yeah. dynamic is very funny. The, the extras around the, the, when the staff become the extras, which I'm sure you've discussed at length, everybody uh, has that one as a favourite. And um, when Cora breaks the news to Robert about her illness. That sort of seems like it's the most personal scene we've seen for Robert in the entire mm. series. Um, I'm just interested, interested for your insight into how that scene came together. I, I love that comment and those, those three uh, scenes, as I'm very proud of them all. Um, and that scene with Robert, uh, to be honest, we didn't discuss it much, you and mm. I. Uh, and when we first rehearsed it, he wanted that burst of emotion to come out and I thought he played it brilliantly yeah. and I've been thrilled by how people have reacted to that. I think partly it's because exactly as you say you hadn't seen Robert no, like yeah. that in over a decade so it's like seeing your uncle or your brother yeah. who you know very well behaving in an unexpected way uh, yeah. and I thought uh, Hugh and Elizabeth played that scene brilliantly. Yeah it's a, it's a, a real standout. Um, it, was, it was like a reward because yeah. we'd been with them for so long, a, but, yeah. a decade. And it I mean, that's the thing. Reason. I mean, people haven't really compared this film to Boyhood, but I no, do, yeah. because, you know, you'd seen those characters over a 12-year period. Yeah. And it, it's unique. I don't know, I mean, you probably know more about film history than me, but uh, are there any other examples of the same group of actors playing the same characters over 12 years? Not really. I mean, Harry Potter? <sighs> yeah, but it's more... There isn't as much growth, because yes. Harry Potter's based around like yes. one continuous trauma. This is yes. different yes. eras all the Yeah, way exactly. Uh, and so uh, going back to your other question, I mean, as a director, it's like you hit the jackpot, you know, when yeah. you've got those storylines and those characters. Um, I'm sure you've been asked before, but would you like to come back, tell more stories in this? With these well, I, I, I say the same thing. I don't know if there is going to be uh, more yeah. films, but I'd obviously be happy to read any script uh, because I'm very driven by that, you know? Yeah. Um, it's more of a fantasy question, but if you could jump anywhere in the timeline beyond where we already are in Downton, um, at the end of this movie, where would you be most interested in telling a story? Do you mean of any story or the Downton in the story? Down, in the Downton story, yeah. Uh, well, uh, I'd like to see... Uh, the, 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 yeah, I, uh, well, I'd like to see maybe uh, Robert takes Cora back to America. Mm. Yeah, I'd like that. The Gilded Age, obviously. Yeah. Like Bax um, yeah. 
damned up lovely. Um, and my final question is not about Downton, it's about Cranston. So, I was a major fan. Uh, I used to watch it with my mother, actually. Cranford. Uh, Cranford, sorry, Cranston. I thought we were talking about Brian yes. Um It's, it, it, I always lament the fact that we haven't seen any more yes. from that. It was, has there ever been a conversation to go back for another return? But it's return? funny because um, on the, this set, uh, you know, um, there was one day we were filming, in fact, the day we were filming on the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the boat, the, 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 uh, the Royal Yacht, yes. which was, a, and uh, uh, my AD, uh, who'd worked on Cranford, showed me her phone and Facebook had sent her 10 years ago to oh, right. We were doing a scene from Cranford with Jim Carter and yeah. Imelda, who were also in this. So uh, that, that was a happy memory. Uh, and I think I wish I think now there would have been more yeah. down, uh, Cranfords uh, uh, in the appetite people have of creating things. But again, getting that ensemble together and so on. But uh, I'm glad you referenced that because I think in some ways Cranford paved the way for Downton. Oh, totally, yeah. Uh, uh, and in television history, so I'm very proud of my involvement in that.